Lacey. We're here today to help you with some flexibility and some stretching things. Now remember, flexibility helps you with movement. It allows you to move in your full range of motion. It also decreases the likelihood that you will get injured. So take some time today. If you need to hit pause throughout the video, please feel free to do so if you feel like you want to stretch more times. I suggest you hold the stretches for about 10 seconds at a time and make sure that you try to do each of the stretches at least three times. Lacey is going to be my helper, she's my demonstrator, and this way it kind of shows you what you can do with your kids as well. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to take our arms and we're going to pull them across. And if they can hold here, then that's great. You want them to kind of try to hold right here. And it stretches the muscle on the outside, which is your deltoid. So this is one stretch and we're going to hold to 10. Does it hurt? <laughs> A little flexibility. All right, and then we're going to switch sides. Remember, we're going to hold here. Take that arm. Good. There you go, Lacey. Good job. And again, feel free to hold their arm. Do it to their abilities. So after that, we're going to drop the arms down. We're going to take one arm. We're going to bring it up. And then I want you to take their hand and pull it down towards their back. Again, you should feel where it gets tight. Don't push too far past that tight point. If it's tight, then that's exactly how, where you should be. You feel it right there, don't you, babe? Good, and we're gonna hold that, and then we're gonna switch sides, and we're gonna go up with this one. And this helps with your triceps, which are here, and it also helps with your lats, which are down here. So then I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna hold Lacey's hips, and I'm gonna fold her forward, she's gonna try to touch her toes. All right, now we wanna to try to keep our legs straight, and if we can't touch our toes while we do that, it's fine. So we're just gonna go as far down as possible. Thank you, Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I like to do like this where we're holding the hips as well and then you can take and press a little bit on their back to help them go down. Now we stand up, Lacey. Good job. So she's going to sit on her bottom. I'm going to turn her. Yep. You can also do that stretch like this where their legs are, excuse me, Daisy, where their legs are straight and you can hold their legs here and lean them forward. If you'd like, you can take your legs and put them over top. Just don't push too hard on the knees and don't push too hard on the back. You'll feel the resistance. Good job, Lacey, you're doing great. Now, another good one from this position, you can take and bend one leg up, cross it over, and then you're gonna take this opposite arm of the leg and you're gonna twist them. So this one helps with the glutes, which is in your butt and it helps twist your back and get your back a little more mobile. Good job, Lacey. Flip sides. Always work both sides. Give me this arm, please. Thank you. And we're twisting and we're pulling, we're pulling this leg towards us while we're pushing the shoulder away from us. Again, you wanna wait for that resistance and then stop at that point. You're doing great, Lacey. You're doing really good. So as Lacey goes to her knees, this is called the child's pose. They're gonna go down to their hands. Yep, and then you wanna walk them out. Walk them out, walk them out, walk them out, walk them out. <laughs> head down, and just relax. Don't smash your head down. You wanna push right here a little bit on the lower back, but don't push too hard. This helps open up the glutes as well. It also opens up the lats, which are here on the side of the back. You're doing a great job. They like a little back scratch. All right, good. You can also take, give me this arm, baby. Go back down where you were. Twist, 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 twist. Oh, yeah. Daisy's going to come give you some more. Very good. Now let's switch sides. Take this one, go out straight. Straight with this one and turn that way. You're doing a great job, kid. I'm very proud of you. Very good. All right, Lacey, can you lay on the mat for me? Put your head down here. Somehow some students laying on the mat is going to be difficult flat. If this is difficult and they cannot go flat, just get them to the point where they're laying on the mat and try to work on that flexibility where they can go completely flat. On this one, we're going to stretch the quadriceps, which are the muscles in the front of your legs. So you're going to take the leg and you're going to pull it towards the middle of the rear end and you're gonna pull up just a little bit, not much. And you should feel that stretch right there. Do you feel it right there, Lacey? Yeah, you should feel it right there. All right. And 
then we're gonna release. We're gonna do the same thing with the other one. Thank you, Daisy. <laughs> Good girl, stay. Uh-uh, sit. Good, now from here, we're gonna go into what's called a cobra. I want you to be cautious and careful on this one because you don't wanna pull too hard. So the, guy, the goal is to keep the hips on the ground and they wanna try to get the chest off the ground. So Lacey, I want you to press, yep. So Lacey's gonna take her hands and she's gonna place them like this and she's gonna stretch the abdominals. Now, if this is difficult and your child's not able to hold, you can grab them here across the shoulders and pull them back to pull them into this position to help them stretch. So we just stretched earlier our back, now we're stretching our abdominals and we're pulling this back. Doing a great job, babe. Yeah. So Lacey's gonna roll over. All right. Now, thank you, Daisy. Sit. 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 Stop. So on this one, we're gonna take both knees and we're gonna lift them up, and we're gonna push them towards Lacey's chest. Now she's gonna take and grab her legs, and she's gonna hug them. And you can rock them back and forth like this. Kids love to do the rock. Rock and rock and rock and rock and rock. And they don't even realize they're stretching. Good. Now relax. Legs come down. So from here, I want you to take and sit near the bottom of them. Straighten your leg as much as possible. And you're going to take their foot and you're going to push it towards their face. Now the first way I want you to do this is I want you to do it with the legs straight. Can you feel that right here, baby girl? Good, it's okay, okay, you're good, lay down. Yep, you're gonna feel it in the heel, you're gonna feel it in the back of your leg. Now the next thing I want you to do is bend the leg and do it again. And this stretches both the muscles in the back of the lower leg. Good job, Lacey. And then we're gonna do the other one. Start here. Will you wiggle your toes? <laughs> and then I want you to bend it and go here. Doing great. How's that feel, Lacey? Feeling good? Yeah? All right, good. Then we're gonna do the butterfly stretch. Lacey's gonna take her feet and put them together. She loves this stretch, it's one of her favorites. She's gonna take her hands and put them here. And then I want her to press down, just push down. Now, if your child is having difficulty with getting their legs in, it's okay to do like this to start with. As they get more flexible, you can bring them in more and more and increase that flexibility. Does that hurt? I'm sorry. So you can't push too much because they'll start hurting. All right, give me a high five, Lacey. Thank you for all your good work. Can I have a hug? Mama. Great, little baby. Right. Thanks for joining us. We hope to see you next time. Thank you.